All right, this is video three of the work zone 1200 watt, uh, which is a common product made in Korea and actually pretty good quality, South Korea. And the Chinese made accurate tools, power inverter, 1000 watt, pure sine wave. Now videos one and two give you some ideas of the opening of this, of this inverter and of the power output. And it's ranking a uh, best case scenario, seven out of 10. Um, due to inaccuracies, I would kind of keep that at a low seven. So now over here we have current battery voltage of 12.94. The charger is on it right now and it is putting in a little bit of juice at one and a half amps just to keep the battery at 100%. So as you can see, the 12.9, the, the voltage is coming up above the static voltage of a car battery or an RV battery, 12 volt battery of 12.8. So 12.8 is high voltage, 100%. 12.65 is a good safe voltage. Anything below that you start losing. Now we're going to turn on this peak. There's the setting right now. And this is not an RMS root mean squared meter. It is just a regular meter, but it's set on high voltage and we're going to turn it on. And it is on. I don't know if you can see that little bitty. If you can see that little green light, it's on and it is showing a voltage of 107. Now we have the resistive heater again, 400 watt and 800 watt on it. This one will actually went up to 650 watts against this 800 watt load. That's due to the fact the battery wasn't as powerful as multiple batteries and due to the fact that this is just a cheap inverter. So now once again, back to the same watt meter and we're going to take this watt meter and this is off you see off and we're going to plug it in now these watt meters might not work as well on a modified sine wave but right now it's showing it's it's apparently this watt meter might be rms root mean squared which means it gives an accurate reading it's showing 120 volt it's showing zero amps and zero watts so we will once again like the other one we will turn it on, turn the heater on, the first hit. And now I want you to listen. If you can hear that buzzing noise, that buzzing noise is a modified sine wave inverter. And that's because, and you'll see here, it's not putting out very high. Battery voltage just took an immediate slump down to 11.9s and its voltage here has actually went up remember this is not root mean squared its voltage is going up so to try to recover so the higher the voltage goes in this meter the the more it's going to uh, act that way now over here on the watt meter it's showing a 113 volt over here it's showing 115 volt so there's a little inaccuracy there but turning it back off you'll watch this voltage over here spike and the battery starting to recover so did this perform as well as the true sine wave no this does not have the efficiency however with the battery with multiple batteries this might perform as well i will do a fourth video that will show you the opening up of this inverter so that you can compare and i'll pull a picture shot from both of these two inverters that are fairly equal and modified versus true sine wave so you can see a component structure in them and now you see the voltage there of the battery returning the stabilized voltage and the voltage over here this is attempting to mimic the accurate voltage but it's not doing a very good job i'm starting to question i question the accuracy of this however being that it's modified it doesn't show really accurate on a modified I wouldn't suggest this for using on a modified, but it does work well on a true sine wave. There is your comparison difference between video one and two with this one and video three with this one. And I will put video four up, very short one, that gives you the details of what's inside of these inverters. And they do have a lot of Chinese components in it. I'm sure about 80% of the parts are all from China, but they're assembled in Seoul, South Korea. Uh, the majority of them are. They might have a plant in China too, but at this point when I bought this one, this one was a Korean made. These are very dependable, very durable, and I have hit these with electric chainsaws that pull 
a good solid seven amps, eight amps, and up to 10 amps, believe it or not, when they bog down. And they have been very, very durable. So I do own a lot of Peaks, Peak branded. I do have uh, 3,000 watt, 2,000 watt, 1,200 watts, 1,000 watt, 800 watt, and a 400 watt Peak. They are sold repackaged for a much higher price without the rubber end caps on Harbor Freight. Uh, it's the same identical inverter. Take a look at the front of that and you can see it is the same. Pull all that loose and you can take a look at that. It is the same identical inverter that you buy at Harbor Freight and Harbor Freight, however, the only way you're going to get this as cheap as buying it as a peak is if you buy it with a coupon. But you can get these from eBay and Amazon, and I'll put you an eBay link on it. This is actually quite a good unit and works perfect for putting in a car, but it's not as good as a true sine wave. So you make a choice. Resistive load was done on both. You saw the results. Look for video four of a breakdown opening up of this inverter so you can see its components. There's your test.